Hello, hello. Back with Father's Gate 3. Last time on Father's Gate 3, we uh, talked to Zoru and found out about like the Yankee Crush near the mountains. We discovered that Gale's uh, magic addiction is not going as he thought it would. We found in some infernal iron created Karlak. She's feeling more powerful. Not sure if that is a, just a story thing or there's a game mechanic thing to it. And we found a, uh, a book, a real creepy book that is definitely a necromancy of Thay book. And it's very, very evil. Probably shouldn't use it. Um, and we were really hurt. We almost died. Or we did die, and then had to redo uh, a fight with a bunch of skeletons. Me sweat. Probably split these potions up a little bit. Well, you can have three. Uh, Carl, like you can have one of the big potions. And three more potions. Shadowheart, uh, we'll split two with you. No, never mind. Just have to explore this blighted village a bit. If you want to keep your insides on the inside, don't cause any trouble. Okay. Deep. Fair enough. What do these people have to say? Keep your paws to yourself, and I won't cut them off. Okay, I, I'm gonna assume that they all just don't want me to be here. Okay. Yep. Don't want me to be here. Everything here is ours. Bagger off. They are level one. Be something in this heap. I could beat him up. Um. I'm gonna pass on that though. I don't want to fight people if I don't have to. Save my spell slots, save my... Health potions. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sounds a feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers. It's the only one with armor. Here. I have eyes and it's another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. I'm friend please her measure. don't know if i'm strong enough so is the brand of the absolute i have enough spell slots for this uh i'll do you one better i'm one of the absolute's chosen disciples plus three plus guidance okay it's good indeed how regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Uh, I don't know. Pretty food gamey. Very tough dwarf. Not food. Friend. Uh, you're quite articulate ogre. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I... I'm a gourmand. A gourmand. And you. You say. A delicacy. Were I so lucky? Uh. No, thank you. I've seen few ogres in these parts. We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. 
so you don't bear a brand of your own. I've no use for the Absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only, gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest I guess that's eating noise. sate my okay. hunger for meat. Both goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. It's an eye patch. Now talk. Uh, ooh, forget goblins, you should fight for me. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Uh, 500 gold is a lot. 1,000 gold is a lot. Pay you in the flesh of the fallen. You have your fill. Ooh, 20 is real bad. I need a 14 at the very minimum. <sighs> okay. Pretty good. You can help me fight now? You can be like temporary party members or what? A brilliant notion and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. I don't like you referring to me as food. Take my bone horn. One blow I like a prune, sad heart bro. Use it when the need arises, and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. Okay, that'll be very handy. We so. will keep close when you are ready. Sound the horn. Oh, four ogres. Oh, they're disappearing. Poofing off into nothing. Oh, I'm over in company. Okay. Um. Um. I like, could you be a deer and hold these for me? Thank you. Tiefling. Money thieves tools. Great club. I'll send a car like now. Turnish lock it. Sell that. Sell this rope. Folly and the fall. Though clearly old, the handbill is ma managed to maintain its bold print over time. For one season only, see the play that sent Elterald's Everlight Theater into chaos. The sharp-tongued traveling troop presents The Folly and the Fall. A tragedy in four parts. Part 1. Of Lost Netheril, the Great Wizarding Empire and Humanity's Age of Wonder. Part 2. Of the Great Mage Carses, his brief and terrible godhood and his ruin he wrought. Part 3. Of Netheril's Fall, a thousand years of shade and shard subversion. Part 4. Of Netheril's return and a shadow falling upon the land. Penned by the great bard Ragan Feg, the folly in the fall tells the true story of flying Netherese city, Dolentar, and its dramatic return from a thousand years of exile and on Shar's plane of shadow. See the climactic battle between myth, above myth, Dren, or rendering standard, stunning detail thanks to the finest thaumaturges on the coast. Oh, that's really cool. Direct on the village green as the sharp tongued traveling troop makes its transit to Baldur's Gate. See it now or face a thousand years of sorrow. That's a pretty good marketing tagline thing. Uptake that. How heavy is this backpack now? Oh gosh. Uh, Carla, can you hold on to all my books, please? Thank you. East Volume 4, A is for Athos and Other Gods. I think I've read these books already. A is for Athos and Other Gods. Which one? 6, 7. 
Sechs. Okay, now with these. Lyra, Lady of Deception, the goddess who wears many masks. Invoke her name, avoid reception. She hides your lies and secret tasks. For joy to Lyria, you must call and worship her through soul fed dance. So find her presence in fest halls. Do not give idleness a chance. Lavatar's pleasure is your pain. Your scars and offering, scourge or candle, whip or cane, can your devotion bring. Gods of merriment, dance, good at deception and pain, god. Portal East Volume 4. I read this one. Uh, I feel like I've read something about the East, but... Well. What a land is Cormier. Certainly the geography is dramatic. Edged by mountains and sea, filled forests and swamps. Why dwell on these when the great walls of Suzal loom ahead? One sees the city walls as one approaches, but there is no understanding them from a distance. It's only as one gets close and they loom higher and higher and higher that one appreciates the majesty of Suzel. I pass through the gates the size of castles to enter this magnificent city. The streets are patrolled by elite armored knights known as purple dragons and frequented, frequented by nobles in the most elegant fashions. Its port is filled with ships across the sea of fallen stars, carrying gods from lands I only knew from legends. The docks overflow with fruit, spices, silks, and animal pelts. You will not see a finer market if you only if you have the golden loin lions to spend. Also, the harming of cats is strictly forbidden. Oh, okay, that's nice. No animal abuse specifically for cats. It's kind of weird, but kind of cool. Is for as is an other gods. 11. Right. Saloon, it guides us through the night. She is the moon, the stars, her tears. Her sister tries to douse her light, but she protects us from our fears. Shar will take your sorrow from you, but beware, her night is dark. She'll hide your pain and secrets too, and all your joy and all your spark. Savannah's god of all that's wild, of nature's danger and its charm. His glory is not to be defiled, or you will see. Or you yourself will come to harm. So Shar is the god. Darkness and secrets and hides your pain and no joy. So is Shar incapable of feeling those emotions? Or is that what she just does? If you choose to follow her. How do you romance Shadowheart then? It was the Faerun 5, the boy and the beholder. Just like the boy and the cried wolf. Shepherd's son tended to his father's flock on the banks of the Kionthar. The days grew long and the boy grew bored. To amuse himself, he called out, Beholder, Beholder! The shepherd came running, but there was no beholder. The boy pointed and giggled, but the shepherd scolded him. Do not cry, Beholder, when there is no beholder. Promise? I promise, said the boy. But the next day was boring at the last. Beholder, the boy cried, and his father rushed to his side. The boy laughed and laughed, but the shepherd only frowned and shook his head. Three days later, the boy spotted a round figure floating in the distance. It had one giant eye in the middle of its face, a mouth full of pointed teeth, and the thin stalks grown from it, each with an eye peeking from the tip. Beholder, beholder, he shouted, but no one came. The beholder began to float towards him, and the boy turned and sprinted along the river. He ran and ran until he reached a high bank and could run no more. The boy cried and cowered, racing for the beholder's deadly ray. Herself, instead, a familiar voice said, Turn around. The boy turned. There was no beholder. Only the shepherd clad in a woolen cloak, giant eye, was painted on the front, and a toothy mouth below. Vines were sewn to the cloak's edges. You scared me, sobbed the boy. That makes us even, said his father, as he dried the boy's tears. The boy never cried beholder again. Okay, that's not as dark is the actual boy who cried wolf story i remember the boy got in eaten by some wolves and it was really bad 
like that story though, that was cool. Oh, uh, crap. Hold on to this, please. This rotten cheese. I have extra torch that I can give. You will, because you don't have a torch yet. Missing person poster. Missing poster. Missing children. Maggie Terrence, Marcus Terrence, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. Dang, oh, I can't take it. Well, on to the main story. Finally, I think. Searching for house in the goblin camp. It's been... How long have I played? Nine, ten hours. I haven't even done this yet. It's just too much. Too much to see. Too much to do. Too much to talk to. Yeah, luckily, I have a lot of charisma. Luckily, I will roll very well. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority! Uh, I probably shouldn't ask for Helsin. It feels like he would be very suspicious of me, being a guard and all. Um, I'm gonna deceive him. The leader summoned me. So let me pass. Oh, 15 is a lot. Give me a 15. Okay. This might turn into a fight. I do have four inspiration. I will reroll this. Okay. You know, it's real bad. <laughs> I do it one more time. One more time. Three plus four. Okay. Okay. That's good. You? Well, guess we're in with all sorts these days. If you're here to see Draw Ragslin, you'll want to let him and the lads know you're one of us. There's a party on. Celebrating a raid, we are. You'll need to wear our war colors. Nice to have this across the mug. Oh, do it. I need to put on... Okay, no. Uh, hmm. This will most definitely end up me fighting this guy. But I really don't want to put poop on my face. So, I'm going to fling it across your face. I'm not going to use that, though. That's a bit much for this. Five... Okay. Guidance coming in clutch here. My eyes! You shitey fix it! Okay. Oh, he's blinded. That's so cool. Blinded for three turns. Okay. What do we do here? Can quicken spell. Um, okay, I can go up to them. Let's quicken spell a thunder wave. These three. Seven, one in one, that's real bad. And then scorching ray, though. Two on you, and then one on you. No, two to twelve. You know, do one on this claw. Miss. Okay. Oh. Oh God. That's real. 
real bad. How far can I get? All rage. And then we'll get close. We'll throw a spear at you. Oh crap, I forgot I don't have spell slots on Shadowheart. That's not good. Uh, throw healing potion, please. And then... What can you do with your turn? Um... I really need you to not be in... Heading there. Here. Spread out a little bit. Probably gonna die. Position is real bad. Fifty-five, sixty-five. Well, you can hit sixties before. Let's try it anyways. Of course, I didn't. Did not expect anything different from you, Will. Two skills at a time. I'm going down. Oh, never mind. I'm not going down. Um, what do I do here? Potion of speed? I'm probably just gonna die. We'll just uh, drink a potion. Stand here. Go oh, miss, miss. Oh my god, that's huge. Uh, Kylak, take a potion of speed. I kinda need this. Right now. Cleave. Can you hit three? No, I can't. You can hit two, though. Can I move up anymore? No, I can't. Well, we'll just hit you, I guess. Reckless attack. It's for 12. Very nice. Uh, what does this do? Lead. Two damage each turn. Disadvantage of constant same throws. I'll lacerate you. Okay, that's huge. Seven HP left. Um. Invoke duplicity. Move up a little bit. Shadow heart. Put it. Put it up here. Okay, that's good. Just good. It hit the thing that didn't actually damage anybody. Um, since we can't hit anything, we're gonna blind these two. Oh. Okay. I did not. I didn't think it said that it would hit me. Dang it. That's bad. Um, of course, I have color spray. Dang it. Hit you? No, didn't think so. Um, well, I'm going down this turn. No, I'm not. I'm dodging everything. It's huge. Leave. Reckless attack. Okay. Take down Sentinel. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's take a potion. Probably should have hit. Uh, Shadowheart, get rid of this. War drum. Thank you, Shadowheart. these dodges the other day. What? 75%? Okay. Will can't hit anything. Well, I'm really considering changing the route. You've not made any hits. Which 
shield for three. It's not much, but something I can get out of here. Drink a potion. Carlax tanking all the damage. Whoa, what is this? Okay, luckily I moved away. And Carlac didn't die, that's huge. Can you jump up here, Carlac? We can. Good idea, Carlac. Try and get rid of this high ground advantage person. Okay. Then can you throw a javelin? 75% you can hit this one too. 65 though. So hit more health. Okay, that's big. One person. Uh, sick of flame, 50%. Can't hit those. 45%. Sick of flame it is. For one, that's something. It's not bad. Will, can you hit? Cannot reach, what? Okay, that's really nice, Will. You're making up for past mistakes with an 11 of damage. Carlic's done. The turn. Okay, yeah, that's that went well. It went really well. Can't slow down. Uh, we'll pick up these things for Carlac again. I'll send to Carlac. Carlac. Some money. Food. Some more stuff. Ocean. Up this fire. It's kind of nice. Ooh, lots of stuff for selling. But now I do not have enough carrying capacity for this. Did I not pick up an axe? I did. And all of this to Carlac. It's to Carlac. It's a weird send to Carlac. Send to Carlac. Carlac. That went really well. I'm very surprised. Mainly because the skeleton fight went really poorly. I actually dodged attacks. It's crazy. Let me come again. Cool. Uh, let's pick both of those at two ways. Let's move. Both of these over here. They're not mad at me, right? They're yellow. I'll just skip them. Just in case. Just in case, dude. Salute. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. This 
then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf exuding power and command. Oh. A handsome younger man Gamma died. with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. I'm uh, gonna pass, lady, thank you. I'm a, I'm a good guy. I'm a good dwarf. Happened any more than you do. We should keep going. And you pulled it out. Nice you one, pulled Shadow. it out of your pocket to that do that, so I feel like you're hell. lying to me. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, you got some explaining to do. What is this thing? You pulled it out of your pocket. I feel like you knew that it was going to do something, so I, I feel know. like you're lying. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. If you don't know what it is, how do you have it? Because it was our mission to retrieve it. Me and... the others. I'm the only one who made it. Exactly what did retrieving the artifact entail? You must know something about what this thing is. No, that's better. What is this? There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the Absolute itself. The three figures in the vision, the Chosen, are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination. At any cost. But you still do not know what it even is. Yeah, that's what worries me. Uh, uh, I'm not going to ask where it. it seems like a bad. She will not like it, so... Uh, keep it safe, Shadowheart. Trust me. I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. Discover the artifact secrets. Oh. Shadow carries a strange artifact. It seemed to protect us from a horrible voice. She stubbornly avoids the subject. We should find out more about it. Defeat the goblins. We arrive at the goblin camp. Now find the three leaders. Destroy the book. Evil is inscribed on every page of the book, but all evil has a weakness. There must be a way to destroy it, or we could unlock the book. The book is locked tight. The mechanism is in shape for a key. Maybe some kind of stone would work. Hmm. Uh, well, I'm not a necromancer, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna avoid using that book. Oh, it's fine. Oh. Well, though. You're an idiot. Why are you captured by the goblins? You look like you got something jingling in your pocket. Looking to spend it? Yes, well, not exactly. Quite how did you get your hands on all this? Nicked him off the dead, didn't I? Okay, fair. I do that. I'm here to, uh, give you all my junk. 
So, so all this stuff. And I got a decent amount of money. Do I want to buy any of this stuff? Was the short bows? Hmm. More heals. Three. That doesn't seem bad. Great. Two-handed maul. Each strike fills the target with chilling dread that prevents it from gaining hit points. But that's kind of cool. Give that to Carlac, maybe. Should she use it? She can. It's a little bit weaker, but I don't think she'll be using tears of protection, though, anyways. And it prevents them from healing, which is nice. Tiny Python's weapon will return to its owner when thrown. That's kind of cool. A new age is dawning with goblins and trust. Mountains, great mortals, all kinders to quake. You know, we'll buy this doom hammer. The true souls are coming, the loudness And, uh, are we on red scrolls? We're okay. We'll just buy these potions. Be you beguiling, or be you beheaded. Goblin kind will tease you and frolk you and red it. Okay, that should be good enough. His name is Draw. Gotta sort His through everything. Absolute. His troops will disarm you and grow you. Okay. That's why are they not stacking? Oh, okay. Recoil of you must. Almost all four, which is really nice. Be a little bit tankier, a little bit stronger. Equip this Doom Hammer, Kalak. Uh, I'll just send this to camp for now. I might still use it later. We'll see. Uh, this great axe can go to Isoto. I am here to sell 28 gold. With fragulous crown and with scepter abrade, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. Oh. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblet kind had Reduce them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you galant. Okay, okay. Sounds very bardic. Draw Ragslin's bobo in charge, the way this one's carrying on. Can we wrap the tension for Fragulous Goliath? I don't know this language. Bravo, boo, get off say I just assumed they were real words that I didn't know. Uh, uh gift him the bravo. Who's that? Friend of yours? You up to something? Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come. Let's continue our ballad. <coughs> draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin. Um, um, I am oh, a draw Ragslin. Goblin. Um, come to us, draw Ragslin. Oh, you're not um, doing very good, Bolo. Wait, wait. Draw Ragslin, we pray, we. Come on, pigeon! Back to your cage! Now, oh, look what you've done! I don't know, man. I don't know if you can blame me. You kind of came in here of course, and got caught by some goblins. Right. Yes. But, you know, we'll figure out how to save you. Wait. Oh, God. That's right. Keep drinking. Oh. Oh, Brenna and Andrick here. It's good to be among allies, isn't it? The Absolute's blessings have brought so many together. 
Bottoms up, hey. These little lads snagged some pretty decent drink. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, so. This ale tastes like hobgoblin spit. Who's been puking in the barrel? Such as a thing that happens here on a daily basis. Drinks going straight through me. Uh, the only cure is drinking more as fast as you can. That's the plan. We looted an entire inn, brought back enough booze to drown a dragon. Here's to them, we nicked it off. Down one mug of ale for every throat we cut. <laughs> okay. Shrek attack. Some booze. Having a drink. It's all the sweeter when it's free, innit? Uh. Is it? Looks like so to me, indeed. Free, where, where did you get it all? Indeed. Of course. Sweet piss is still piss. That in was asking for a burning, selling his muck. Are you even chewy? You even chewy? You want your drinks to be chewy? That sounds nasty. I would hate that. Bloody arm is killing me. Ears to the best sedative there is. Booze. Hey, hey. You ain't rounding me up for no raid. No way! I'm drinking! Uh, good for you, bottoms up. Yeah! Ears to the absolute! The very inebriated here. Are you drinking? You lot spend more. Tracker Clogger. I doubt these goblins are much for their prisoners' welfare. Yeah, that would be right, Shadowheart. Looking tasty in these new breaches, ain't I? Gotta talk to everybody first. Uh, yeah, they look good. They look, they look great. Ain't they? Nicked them off this dwarf we're cooking. Oh my god. Dwarf, you're talking about my kin. Show some respect. Do I say this? I'm gonna say it. Don't take it personal. If my mate Cricker was dead, and I was hungry. I the imp that he taste real good too. Oh, okay. So did he have anything on him besides pants? I dunno. Was already stripped down to his breeches when I got my hands on him. Had a couple of coins in the pockets and some daft poem. But that's all. Uh I love poetry, can I see sure it? Sure you can. But a look's all you're getting. Mm, for all I know, this little roaster was some famous bard. And you'll be sending his last words for a pretty penny. Okay. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. No. Authority. What surprise for so you waste your time to learn poetry is worthless. Dwarf deception. He's one of my clan. Hiltred the Warbler. Worst bard in all favor. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds good. Five. Okay, as long as I don't roll a one. Okay, we're good. We're good. Really? Oh, shite! You might as well use it as bog roll then. I'll get back to tending the meat. Dwarf's poem. Received. A eulogy for a Salunite who died in the dark below. Notes about a door under the temple are written in the margin. The son of Saluna fell here in the dark below, and we sealed his grave in our holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May the darkness never conquer the moon's maiden store. A note is scrawled in the margins. Find the door under the temple. Think the moon's turn, but which way? Cluster of stars and lunar phases are sketched beneath. Ooh, puzzle. Find the night song. Rescue Volo. Storming under significant arrest. Blend the camp's interior by a guard. You clearly need help. I guess we gotta break him out. 
Open the door, we discovered a clue about the night song, a poem about Saluna, that mentions a door under the temple. What is hidden beneath the goblin camp? I'm gonna keep that in my inventory for now. Seems important. Uh, check out Grika. You peckish! Didn't figure dwarves for cannibals, but you're welcome to have a bite when he's done. Uh, step away from the pit now. No. Uh, it's, uh, I feel like I will end up fighting these people, and that's real bad. Save me a piece. I don't want to do that. So that's disgusting. It smells awful. That's just how dwarves is. Okay. Probably I mean, should have shaved him before cooking him. Oh yeah, you probably should. Do Prefer that. human meat myself. Juicier. One of his mates was a tasty looking long pig, but he ain't ready for the spit yet. Lads have got him inside for questioning. Oh. <laughs> Get some answers about uh, Night Song, maybe. It's one of his mates, a druid, can't get you answers. Where's the prisoner? Enjoy oh, poking holes they don't like that. People, do ya? Chip shut hard. He's inside. Keep to the right and follow the screams. <laughs> okay, well, I will do that after I talk to everybody. Statue of Saluna. This room is dedicated to her. And now it's a nest for some filthy goblins. A fitting end. I could curse. Shh. You should listen to Crusher. He's just... He can do anything. Oh, God. What are you staring at? Think I'm small? Not like you're any taller. No much. You gotta, gotta listen to Crusher. He gets mad if you don't. Mad! Crusher, okay. Good to know. Fresh disarmament. Good parents. to know. Weaker than pigs is humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? Another pest? Dwarves. Think you rule the world. Ha! As the symbol glows, ha! power courses through you. Authority. Lots of assumptions here. I don't think I'm better than anyone else. I don't think so. It's a fact. You're nothing but dirt beneath my feet to leave. I don't think I'm better than anyone. Everyone says that. And then they spit our faces. But no more. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. You okay. better learn your place. Go on. Kiss more foot. Or I'll no, that I'll pass things. Right off your face. Kiss the damn foot. Worst things have been shoved in your face lately. What? Why are you supporting this shadow art? How about you kiss my feet instead? Oh my god, 15 for this? Give me an 11! Okay... Uh, roll again. Okay, we're good. I was not going to spend another inspiration if I failed this again. Uh, and everybody mate. improves. Just piss off. You're not welcome here. Not so high and mighty after all. I could go again. You better kiss my foot now. What should get for disrespecting a dwarf. Goblin stares, mouth agape. Then he sets his jaw and falls to his knees. There. I've done it. Arrogant swine. Hey, the decaying waste of stone. Uh, what was I saying? Hey. I just had to talk to Russia. I've got to take a piss. <laughs> Really good. 
starts clapping at him. I ain't paid to talk. Keep walking. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll uh, head back and look for Helsen in here. Goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Uh, that's your usual haunt, I take it. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolute I like work! The music. State your business now! As the symbol glows, oh my God! You another check? You. Oh God, man! Authority. Uh, deception. I got an audience with the one in charge. You don't need to know about my business move. I got an audience with the one in charge. Oh my gosh! This is fifteen two. Give me an eleven. Oh man. I don't think we're very healthy, so... Inspiration... I really need a long rest. I really need a long... Okay. Okay. We're good. Right. Well. You ain't the first foreign type. I suppose. Gonna have to be a bit more specific though, mate. Absolute's got a few favorites around here. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Raxley, or the Drow? I'm here to see your boss. Raxlin. Well, look. Big Boots here has an appointment with Draw Raxlin himself. Throne room's at the back. He's communing, mind. So step soft. Okay. Oh, and a level up. Oh my god. That's very nice. Level 4 Sorcerer. 30 health. On the first feet of the game. Um, let's see. What do I want? Firebolt? Shocking Grasp? Acid Splash? Blade Ward? Minor illusion. Friends and higher difficulty modes the target might accuse you enchanting them. Oh, I probably don't want to take that. Um, we'll just take Firebolt. Take that. Level 2 spell. We will take. Take a uh, hmm. We'll take Misty Step. Actually, we'll take Mirror Image a little bit more uh, defense, a little bit more defense. Let's swap out. No, I'll keep all the thing. And then we'll increase our charisma. So we'll have 18 charisma. And increase the... How many concentration spells do I have? I don't have any. Okay, then I don't really need a situation. We'll go for Dex and get some higher AC later in the game. Shadowheart. Level 4. Cleric. Can't trip 
Uh, we'll take, uh, we'll take light, I guess. Don't really want the other stuff. Uh, we will take spiritual weapon. Summon a floating spectral weapon that attacks enemies alongside you. That's pretty nice. Summons are nice. Get your wisdom up. And your concentrate. Constitution. No, we'll give your decks up. They can look a bit higher, you see. Then the will. Pride of the gate. Lock four. Um. Take a bone chill. Grunting healing is always nice. Disadvantage on attack rolls for undead. It's nice. Uh, two will take shatter. There's all the nearby creatures. Creatures made of an organic stone have disadvantage on their saving throw. Under a cloud of daggers. Take anyone inside. Do I have any concentration spells? Hexes. So. I'll take cloud of. Uh, scorching ray. Take scorching ray. Get rid of. Armor of Agathus. Because I don't think I'll be using it. Get rid of that for. Take take mirror image so you can be up front a bit more with your pact of the blade. Use your charisma and your decks. And then Carlac. Yeah, it's good to be alive. Level 4 Bodbearing, 41 health, and an ability score, okay. If you increase strength, increase con so you can stay up front, tank a little bit more with your face. Never and uh, now we long rest because I yes, haven't lucky. done it in forever and I need spell slots and health. Oh, what is this? The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Uh... Oh. I'm walking. I'm doing it again, okay. Uh, wipe your sweat from my brow. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Oh god. Chukil gate of Lakith Mazathok. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh. Please tell this is not I can. good for you. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the oh others. Oh god, everybody. Then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. So I think we need to calm down a bit. Uh, we're just exhausted. Lower the blade before you do something foolish. Swish. Fifteen, oh my god. Oh my god. Double ones? I can't believe it. 
It feels as if a snake is slithering through every limb. My throat burns Am like I just gonna die? She's gonna within. kill me. This is not exhaustion. This is theramorphosis. Close your eyes. Submit. Oh my god. Can I roll again, please? Uh... Uh, I don't want to use the illithid. Don't want to attack Lizelle. I guess I'm using the illithid. Oh god. I need a two. No more double ones, please. Okay. Thank you. Something stirs deep within you. Hungry oh, and alert. Oh god. It's I should have killed Lizelle. Lazelle's fear grips you. Not Shh. fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazelle, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon. Oh my god. Forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlacketh. Uh, be strong. You will survive this. You will please your queen, Lazelle. I cannot trust my own mind. So oh, it seems I must man. trust yours. I can't believe it. I will it. wait. But know this. I am watching. <sighs> if the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. That was almost really bad. What is happening? I mean, of it. What? It's my guardian. I came just in time. You are transforming. My beard. Oh gosh, what's happening to my beard? I don't I remember giving her green eyes. Hmm. I know your voice. I've heard it before. Who the hells are you? Back up, I have enough crawling around my head already. Who are you? Your salvation. And not for the first time. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Oh. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, my beard. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. I mean, I don't really trust you. You just appear in my dreams one night. Uh, I guess I'll take your hand. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. So cool looking. I mean, like outer space, dreamland world. Oh dang, that's cool too. A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that. But only if you embrace your potential. Oh god. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Oh, what is happening? Feel better. I promise. I will 
feel better. I'll have all my spell slots. I'll be at full health. Lazel won't threaten to kill me, hopefully, in the morning. Oh, Kale's hurting again. And the night song. We discovered the clue about the night song. A poem about Saluna that mentions a door under the temple. What is hidden un beneath the goblin camp? So the powers Parasite gives you we were visited in our dreams by a mysterious figure who told us that our elephant parasites are special and the source of great potential. Use the power of our parasite to exert an influence beyond ourselves. How far does this power go? We found a special parasite like our own. Oh god, was this a bad I may I should have killed Lizelle. Well, too late now. Too late. The three leaders of the common camp, Boss of Axlin, Priestess Gut, and a drow. Sort of water deep. Gil's condition has deteriorated once more. He requires us to procure him a third magical item. Well, do I have a magical item for you, Gail? That it's not uh, that I'm not using. I have go look in my loot chest. Loot chest. Okay, I'll get eat that. Channel oath spell. You gain heroism. Probably not gonna have a paladin, so you can have this skill. My apologies. Huh. Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. Oh gosh. A visitor came to. They me. all had it. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me, protecting me, and that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. That same dream, similar visitor, with a similar message. Very curious. In all my readings on the effects of illithid parasites, I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties. Another unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. Hmm. Are you inclined to take these visitors no. at their word? No, I'm not. We know we don't know anything. We need to know more. I'm not sure such an apparition has its own motives, whatever it told us. Yes. Nothing wrong with maintaining a healthy suspicion in such matters. Still, it might be wiser to keep an open mind on the matter. Our visitors' promises of aid might yet bear valuable fruit. Possibly. I found a magical that artifact is for you, Gil. gratifying to hear. May I? Give Gil a magical artifact. Gloves of heroism. There you go. Thank you. <sighs> Good gods. Did it work? It hardly has any effect. Nope. Okay. Oh, Mr. Have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Uh... Okay, go I'll on. I'll just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it okay. earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time she became my muse. What the heck? And later even my lover. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh yes. We enjoyed each other's what company. What the heck? Body mind and soul but even so i desired more 
You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Oh, yeah, every time cross them. I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross it her sounds boundaries. Sounds like a bad idea, Gil. Trying to cross boundaries of a goddess. You thought you knew better than Mistra? You're more fool than I thought. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? Um, You're crazy. You're a fool for doing this, Gale. Quite. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Uh, no, we got time, and I'm interested to tell me the story. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught it fractured then shattered and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day mistra returned she restored the weave reuniting all its scattered shards mm -hmm. or so i thought until in the course of my studies i learned of a book a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if? I thought. Oh gosh. What it's if? Always what if. After all this and time, then bad stuff happens. I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess. <sighs> the grand plan was akin to emptying a cup of water in the sea. Brilliant. What was the answer to that question? I guess he ruled out flowers and chocolates all together then? Hmm? What was the answer? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. My hand is huge. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark. Oh, God. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread moon. Swirling mass of blackest weave pulses. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. Oh my, what is happening? And gods, is it ever hungry? I better not die. I just saved myself from this out. Uh, yank my hand away. Terrifying, isn't it? And that is only the beginning. Okay. This Didn't netherese die. blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. You die? Rather worse, actually. 
I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, um... Is there nothing we can do? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Uh, no, I'm good. We can stay. Come this far together and we'll continue on together. That's how it will be. That is a great relief. Oh, Maybe a great relief indeed. Save him. You truly Maybe. are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Dang, that was a big lore drop. It's crazy stuff. Uh, let's talk to my companions now. I haven't talked to them. I had a, a wild dream last night. This beautiful entity came to me, promised to protect me. Told me the parasite in our heads could give us power. Uh, I had a similar dream. Side effect at the tadpole, perhaps? Hmm? Sounds like it. What did you make of it? I think some kind of psionic trick. I don't believe a word it said. It was a dream, nothing more. Some kind of power. It's a trick. Trying to damn right manipulate us. Like a splinter. We just need to find a way to squeeze it out. How did you end up with a contraption in your chest? The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in oh. my chest and set me yes. to work. But Real to bad. war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. How many use those coins? Honor, I forgot about it. Uh, you mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? A guy named Gordash. Gave you up to Zariel. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. Oh, that's great. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Sounds like we all need to do... Sounds like all we need to do is fix your engine. Let's find some infernal iron. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. <laughs> Dang. Now what does the infernal engine do to gives you? Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, Enticed? I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. You must be pent up. What's that been like? 
I wouldn't mind that myself. I've never been one too much for contact. Uh, what's that been like? Agonizing. God's what I wouldn't give for a hug. A pat. Anything. You've never met anyone so desperate for a hug as this one right here. Pathetic, perhaps, but true. It's my lot to bear, and I bear it badly. Ah, oh, well. Can't have it all, can you? Not today, at least. Oh my god, she sounds so sad just there. We'll fix it, Kalek. Hey, soldier. Uh, in your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand. Every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Uh, this isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? So much has happened, I can barely remember what my life was like before the abduction. Back in my home, not a care in the world. In the middle of another adventure, blessedly free of any tadpole. We'll do that. I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. What's on your mind? Okay, that's all our dialogue. Let's go to Will. Where is Will? Is this... No, that's not Will. Will. I had a dream last night. A vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is. The tadpole's little trick. Mm-hmm. Right, Will. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by elithid worms. Well, we don't know if they're from the worms exactly, but it's very likely... If they are. We should have as little to do with these tadpoles as we can. Well said. This dream figure is no friend to us. Tell me, Will, how did you become a, the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, One does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields, flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Uh, what act could be found in saving a life? You must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. Before that? Baldur's Gate, born and raised. The only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama. <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the bard's lips than mine. I've noticed a sewn eye. Did you lose it in battle? I didn't notice that, but... A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone. Carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Fair enough. Lean in and examine the eye more closely as a sorcerer. Tiny grooves spider across the eye's surface. 
It resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. Ooh. It's like a telephone. A sending Cell phone, stone. whatever. <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. Mm -hmm. Watch and listen for signs of deceit, but sense nothing unusual. Oh, yep, I, I do. Seems normal. Seems normal. I do not. I do not uh, suspect anything whatsoever. Shut up, what do you got? Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones? I'm to you as well. Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. Everybody got it. This must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole, use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess in the waking world or otherwise. The artifact seems to be protecting us somehow. Do you still have it? Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it, and I'll guard it with my life. And yet you don't know what it is. Doesn't add up. It's called it faith. It's kind of strange. Duty. It doesn't have to add up to me as long as I serve. I mean, I get I'm part that. Of a bigger plan. But uh, one that will be revealed in time. I still think you know more than you say you do. So. Admiral Conviction, though I think I'd prefer to know what I was getting myself into. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of your own. Okay. How can you go out all this trouble and not understand why? You know, it's probably because of faith. I'll just let it drop. Uh, why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals, and sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. So, no, so you knew more than you were letting on before. I hope you'll be more honest in the future. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. Yeah, she is the god of secrets and darkness and whatever. Goddess, I guess. Why would you Shah? Why would Shah subject you to such a thing? What causes it to hurt you? What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me. Punishing me. Testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Fair enough. Fair enough. I would sure subject you to this, though. I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. How can you manage living with such a thing? It's less difficult than you might imagine, when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Hmm. And to other matters. What do you think? Uh, I can't help but feel you might miss a chance to connect, truly really connect. I want to talk about your sharp worship. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Oh, okay, I guess. Never mind. Uh... You should trust me we're in the same boat after all. I have no problems with Star Worshippers. That's what concerns you. Five plus six plus advantage. 
I'd rather not roll a double one again, thank you. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mm, I feel like you've Mistress said this the already. And Lady of Loss. I assume you've heard of her? Yes. I read about her. Remind me though. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Uh, fascinating. Continue. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. Uh, sounds daunting. Don't think that's for me. Not exactly, Shah worshippers turn people to their goddess. But like that, seems strangely comforting. How do Shah worshippers turn people to their goddess? We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. See, sounds like a cult. Won't cast judgment on your beliefs. Belying if I said it wasn't sound convincing. I won't cast judgment on your beliefs. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. Turn to other matters. I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. It's like flirty lines. Do I want to romance Shadowheart? Now you know what? Let's roll romance, Shadowheart. What more can you ask? This playthrough. Uh, tell me something about yourself besides tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced. Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Let's point out some night orchids to me if you ever pass some in between places, but you've never been swimming exactly at anything. You have to point out some night orchids if we ever pass by some. It's a deal. Anything else you want to share? No. I can't. Okay. I mean, I literally can't. There's certain things I can't remember right now. Shah's secrets must be preserved above all else. All who worship her know this. I have had certain memories suppressed. Voluntarily. So that I can serve Shah without compromising her. Okay. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Ooh. I wonder if Shadowheart will be a different person. She gets her memories back. Or if she'll be who she is, but also have memories and be like conflicting personalities, maybe. Or identities of herself. Who she is and who she used to be, etc, etc. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. I can't help but feel you and I might have missed a chance to connect. Truly I connect. Think I know what you mean. There's an undeniable rapport, and yet we haven't made time for each other. Time alone. Easily remedied, if you like. I know a place. Like that, just lead the way. Not just yet. Let's choose our moment. Some quiet night, when the others are asleep and there's no distractions. I'll come for you. Okay, next long rest. What do you think happened to us so far? We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? Must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? 
Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Fair Find enough. a way to rid ourselves of these things. Fair Personally, enough. I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. If we're truly desperate, we can try to convince that goblin gut in assisting us. I'm not too hopeful that a Gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. What will you do if we manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. No reason for us not to stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Seems personal. I want pry if that's not something you want to talk about. Family, friend, a lover. Uh, one is a bit much, I think. We'll go Thank to... Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. How am I holding up in your estimations? How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. Oh. I can't remember the last time I Shahart met someone. likes me a lot. Perhaps I never did. Very nice. And never will again. Guess we're romancing Shadowheart for real. This way through. Leave. I could talk to a star in Lazel. But I don't want to for this way through. Unless they have like exclamation points about their heads or some, something. Make a new save. One day. Oh, that was very stressful. Rules session. Better fight than last time. Much better fight than last time. With the goblin gate. Will still missing. A lot Boy, of stuff, but so much fun. 